Welcome back everyone to Starfield. We're on the moon and we're about to head back down to Earth. Oh. I say back down because I have been there, right? Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. But I did it off camera. And on the podcast, King Elfie had mentioned, I actually edited a bit of it out of the podcast. Just because I didn't really understand what he, in the moment, I didn't really fully comprehend what he said. It's very quiet out in space. But then when I went back and listened, I realized, oh. Trumpets wherever you go. Oh no, I, I want to leave it out because I want to talk about it later when we can both talk about it together. And he had said that there was more on Earth than just the one monument that you can see when you first visit it. And now here we are. Oh. How beautiful. What what are these things over my ship? Are those just sprites that are goofed up a little bit? I hope. Let's see. Nope, there's just three things st <laughs> stuck up on my ship. And there's a space ghost right there. That's a great shot. The other day I had Vasco up on top of my ship out in space. That was pretty funny. Okay, so yeah, I've been to the London landmark. <sighs> Guys, we're going home. I had traveled up here because I live up in Northeast Florida. We're essentially going home. I mean, I was born just over here. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've got some weird, I've got some weird ghosts following me. That's funny. I also have the pet asteroid. But I don't, I don't always notice it. Holy crap. No. 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 Not at my home. Andresia, be ready. You know what? No. I won't stand for this. We're going to go attack them. Come to my home planet, my home state, essentially my birth city. Not quite, a little ways away, but still very close. No, no. We're on my turf now, bozo. I wanted to go sneak and I just fell right off. So I don't know which way they're gonna go. There they are. I saw them. Okay, first of all, hold on. I got that new. Okay, it is not better than my current log ever. Okay. It's still not the best weapon, but like it just, it works really well for stealth. But you know what? Let's actually do the pistol. That pistol does a really good job too. Okay, he should be coming up around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, we got him. Yeah, we are gonna use this and get a better scope on him. Did you hear something? Oh, I heard something all right. All right, well, they know we're here now. Let's... Oh, yeah, how's that new gun treating you? Oh, I don't like that they're... Stealth. There's going to be a hardcore mod that removes the um, their names when they're cloaked. Are they taking off? I thought I heard them taking off. Oh, they are hard. They are really difficult. I have taken them on before. Up. 
up already. You tell him, Andresia. You tell him. Dude, who gave them grenades? All right, y'all like grenades? I like grenades too. Fire grenades. There we go. The, oh my goodness. The gr I gotta bind grenades to a different key. All right, let's try. I feel like this might have worked well one time. Jeez. Oh, Maybe not. Okay, forget that. Yeah, you bleed. We know you're just human now. Yeah. Give me that essence. Oh, that gun is so good. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, honey. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, jeez. All right, there goes another. Oh, crud. Out of ammo, my favorite weapon. Oh, that was cool. Come stand next to me. We need a good screenshot of this. Looking out with this, with this, with the starborn ship in the distance. Yeah, if I can go back that far, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. No, maybe not. Let's just do this. I wonder if I can board their ships now. I don't. I still don't think you can because I tried. One, the last time I tried to kill him, or the last time I did kill him. What you want to talk about? all the answers and yet here I stand feeling like I understand even less than I did before this talk of the unity of a, a multiverse dead friends appearing again it, it is all simply too much oops just knocked my phone off my desk uh, the artifacts the powers the starborn it all seems to add up uh, you don't seem happy about any of this. There's only one way to prove whether it's true. Someone has to enter. Yeah, the artifacts, the powers, the starborn. It all seems to add up. Oh, it just hit me. Like, I understand that the Unity is how New Game Plus works, right? You go back into a new universe and you restart the game, essentially, which, which is brilliant. But I... One thing I hadn't heard talked about yet is... If I end up marrying someone, Andresia, I leave them behind? Was there more? That's the hardest part of doing it. <laughs> the artifacts, the powers, the starborn, it all seems to add up. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. Mm. We must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the unity? What if it does nothing the starborn have claimed? They have no reason to lie to us at this point. After meeting with the Starborn, I believe them. With all that I've seen, all that we've been through, this just feels true. Uh, yeah, no, after meeting with the Starborn, I believe them. Because it's Sarah, specifically. I wish I could share in that belief. Truly, I do. But I cannot. Interesting. It's okay to be scared. This is a huge leap. We have to see where this leads. What, what leads, what the unity is. We need to finish what we've started. There's too much at stake to do anything else. Yeah. When we started this mission, we had no idea where it would lead, that we would lose people along the way. If we had known, would we still have been so keen to get here? Sarah would have. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, 
If you pass into this unity and come out in... in some other universe, look at who they are and what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Hmm. This is what exploring is really about, taking risks, venturing into the unknown. I understand what you're saying, but I have to see this through. This is all just theory until we have all the artist artifacts. Let's focus on that first. This is happening, so you'd better get on board. Uh, I understand what you're saying, but I have to see this through. Yes, I know. I can see it in your eyes. For your sake, I will try not to imagine the worst. Focus on the positives instead. But you must understand that I do not find this easy. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. This is so rad. wasn't even thinking elevator to be honest power okay power cell required i have seen that i have never found a power cell and if i have a don't say anything so there's that but there's also the option to parkour i would assume there was stuff down in there, so I want to go look. But there's no reason not to just jump around. See what else we can find. There's bound to be good stuff in here. We can never know whether lives were lost because this ship never launched, but it was built for a reason. Okay, let's get up there and then we can do some exploring afterwards. How about that? But I do want to see if I can do a boost pack. Oh, no, no, not that way. I did not do that well. No, that's, that's a ways up there here. Let's try over on this side. I got, I found a better boost pack, but it has a, le a worse jump to it, which is unfortunate. And I sold the other one. I should have kept it. Okay, there we go. You okay? Careful. Ugh. Nope. Can't quite make that. Good jump. Wonder if I can get up on that ledge right there. See, that feels so much more accomplished than taking an elevator. 
<clears throat> oh, I have an access code apparently. More power cells, excellent. What was that? Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's actually worth a good bit. I'll take that. Oh, great. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Oh, I hello. am. I am always willing to. Actually, you might could use one of these. Actually, ooh. Give you the bounty hunter one and put that on. Ooh, actually, that would probably be a good one for you, too. Why haven't I given you more of these things? Poor thing. Yeah. You equip that. And equip that. Look at you. My bounty hunter girl. Okay. That opens to nothing. Well, that. I could jump over there. NASA notebook? That's where we came out of. Stairs going down here to a catwalk. Have I been down here? Know that I have. Hmm, maybe I did. No, I don't think I had been, but it didn't look like there's anything there. Let's go back over here. Thought I heard another ship. I think it was the wind. a mug whoa cool Oh, this doesn't have power? What? I came all the way up here and this thing that I need to get to doesn't have power? Where do I give this power? <clears throat> if I follow the cords... Aha! That's always fun. Follow the cords. Thank you, game. Wait, so is this exactly the same place that that other, other elevator would have taken me? Okay, game. I know how to turn on my flashlight. Thank you. Whoever once used this room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it was built. Well, I turned this way expecting there not to be much. 
<sighs> oh, it's got a power boost. Let's grab that. That's just what I was talking. Well, no, that's not exactly what I was talking about. The other one I had, I can't remember what it was called. Okay, not really anything else in here. Launch procedures. Remember, the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be, but these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled, but let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a little bit safer. And we can use every one, uh, every ounce we can get. Error. Archived damaged. Archives damaged. Running system recovery. Partial archives retrieved. Delivery from Mars. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Huh. Tripping on stuff, Andresia? Oh. Oh, I think we are going down. It would seem there is more here to explore. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, that reflection moving scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> 